We are the Diaspora Digital Media. We have heard a lot about Newi, a town known for its um, historicity, cult a rich cultural background, and its economic exploits. So, sir, please, can we meet you first, and you two, one by one? Let's start with you, sir. Chief S.O. Because it's one of his children. They are the tire civil servant. And your four counselor. Come from the uh, You are listening. Okay. I will start from uh, the origin of uh, Newe. How Newe come about. Newe and his being two brothers. Born by one man called Ikenga. Ikenga was their father. And Ikenga was the first son of Abaja. Abaja was the son of Ezekiel, who migrated from me and they settled in this area called Abaja land. Abaja left his father's, uh, his father's house because of one reason. The reason why he left from Nuri and settled this area is that Ezemri, they are two bro they are half brothers, they rotate their kingships. So when uh, Abaja, Abaja, when Abaja grew, uh, Abaja was the first son of uh, uh, Ezemri. But in that, in, in the way that when the father dies, it's supposed that the son, the first son, will take the position. But in that time, they rotate the leadership from the prince, from the royal house, because they are three brothers. When this one, when this one died, the, the leadership will go to the elder. So Abaja now decided that he cannot wait, that he has to go and settle, uh, find his own way. And then he left him. And that's why he started moving. And he told his father, that he was going to set, uh, find his own place, independent settlement. And his father prepared, a, uh, gave him two gifts. One is called Oyo, and uh, another one is called Ofo, HC. And with, with the two, di di the two distance, he left Murray. And they settled in the area. The, the father told him, we are never that thing for. That is where he starts. Uh, how he started his own uh, uh, you know, settlement. So he came from there and uh, stopped at uh, uh, Nobi and planted that uh, Ofo, Ofo tree. That is where he sued Momani go and get Ofo tree for their Ozo, she, Ozo title. Up to now, they go to uh, Nobi and get their Ofo, Ofo title. And then he moved further. And he came to Oyo. There's a place called Oyo. In the Nile. That is where that thing fall. And he settled there. That Oyo is uh, near the Ike first side. That is where they settled first. They live there. Abaja live there and die there. That is the, where they call it Nusuko Nile. That is where all the, all the people meet. Abaja had three sons. That sons, the first Ikenga, the second Ifite, the third Ishi. That is the sons of Abaja. They live in Oyo. When Abaja died, Ikenga, the first son, lived there. Ikenga had two sons, the Su and the Newe. That's the only two sons they have. When Ikenga married, initially, uh, you, when you marry a woman, uh, uh, you expect that maybe say, after uh, one year you get pregnant, uh, you, the woman will be, uh, be uh, no, 
you get uh, pregnant. In the case of a Kenga, it delayed before a born issue at the new. Uh, when a born issue, in the first song, he named it issue, which means you see mwa buruzo tsunami. Then uh, after the after issue, it took another long time before we can save again to born in new. After you sue, the woman could not take it again. After you sue, it took a long time again before you conceive. But before then, they went and consulted uh, fortune tellers. That is this in the, the oracle. oracle. The oracle told uh, Ikenga that he will already get another son. But before he get that son, that they will prepare a medicine for the wife. And that medicine, they will use Newi, the model of blood, to prepare that medicine. And if they prepare that medicine and the woman conceive, the child will bear the name of that, that rabbit. And they will not eat that rabbit. So <laughs> they prepared the, uh, the medicine and gave the woman. The woman conceived. And they, when the woman conceived, when the woman born the, born the child, uh, it was a female, uh, a male child. And they named that male child after the, the, that medicine, according to the, the said, that is why the they hear the Olaco. And the, the Olaco instructed them that that child will never eat that rat. That is why Newi does not eat Ewi. Ewi. rat. Yes. It is the medicine they used to uh, uh, prepare this and uh, the Olaco man told them. Eh? So that is why you see Newi answer that Newi. Ishi. Uh, if it uh, the Kenga. They were eating this a lot before that Olaco told them that this child, that this is going to be prepared with this lot, that the child will bear the name and will not eat the rat. And that is why Newi does not eat Ewi. And they bear the name. That is how the name came about. That Olaco man told the, told the Kenga that that child is going to be so wise that that child, when he's born, the guy is going to be so wise. So the idea of wiseness of Newi started from parts. That is how Nehu and Isu came about. Their father is Ikenga. And Isu is the elder son. It is he the head, the elder son. Good. We now have four arms of Nehu, four yes. main villages in Nehu. Yes. Ulu, Uruadu, Umudu, and Nehu. Yes. Please, can you tell us how we came about this four? Are they siblings or are they just an amalgam of um, strengthened fellows? No. Uh, Otolo and uh, Umu, that is, Umu, are, they, are they the sons? Are they the, all are all of them the offspring of this man called Neu? Or how did it come about? Minus uh, Uruagu, Uruagu, they came from Oba. Yeah. They, they are not part of. Uh, uh, Abaja people. Their tradition is different from our tradition, from Newe tradition. One of their tradition, they bury people, they fold people up and bury. But Newe bury straight. This Uruaga does not bury people straight. Their culture is from Oba. They are the in-laws of uh, Zanish. They married the first son of Zanish and settled here. So they are not uh, part of a Newi, Newi children. Newi has uh, four sons. They have uh, Umunara, they have uh, Uturu, they have uh, Newi. Hmm? Part of Newi is uh, uh, the son of Newi. Why Yisu had nine 
nine songs. There are so many of them, nine songs. But during the time of uh, one of the Ezadis, they started migrating out of uh, That's why you have so, so many places. And the, what, the reason why they, they migrate, they just as it was uh, from their from their father. So they, their father migrated. They, they migrated. They also, uh, yeah, yes, they also oh. want to be independent. They don't want to be under anybody. So the sons of Isu don't want to be taking uh, authority from only one person. They say, let me go and settle and find my own place. Because every place is empty. <laughs> so, there, so that's why you see the Isu. Some move to Nkwere. You have Nkwere Isu. Some move to a second, then they from Magrede to Oba. Some go to uh, um, some go to a state, some go to Enugu uh, 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 state. If you go to Enugu, you say Isua one, Isua one. You know. So you see all these things. That is how you so migrated because they, they want to get their own place and They're control. They are managed from there, from, from here. But this is Abaja land. Because this is Abaja land. It will still have Abaja court today. And that's the name of their father, Abaja. Yes. So they migrated for this Abaja land. Now, these four names you mentioned, let's take them again one by one. Yeah. Uh, is that this, is that, the first one, please remind us. These the four sons of Neu. The four sons of Neu, you have Odoro. Odoro one. Uh, is Odoro the uh, eldest? Uh, yes. Okay. No, it's not Odoro. I'm a Umunala. Umunala. Uh, but uh, where Odoro? Odoro. Uh, where Newish. Newish. Uh, and and uh, there's another name. Uh, Odoro Newish. Um, Umudin. That's uh, Umunala. Umunala. Uh, Today, who are the descendants of Umunara? Is it only the Umudin or are there other people too? Umunara is descendants of Umudin today. Okay. They are called Umudin today. Umudin. Uh, I will give you the, uh, the, the chronological uh, list of how this, these people are. Uh, from um, who is who? The name, you see all the names. Okay. They have the list. I will give you so that it will direct you. All right, all right, yes, all, right. all the, the how they how they how they follow each other, eh? the sons of Neu, the sons of Isu, mm -hmm. the sons uh, yeah, the sons of uh, uh, Munlara, all these things, they are there. Okay, I will give you the Beautiful. yes, so that, appreciate that yes, I have it. I will give it. That, or rather, some do I say village or, or group of people that I know today that are not sons of Neu or sons of Isu. Uh -huh. The name Uruagu is from Oba. Hmm? Their culture is different from our culture. Yeah? But if we come today, everybody is answering Uruagu, including uh, Isu and, uh, and the Dodge. Because of but, the geographical uh, yes, because yes, because they just use that name, you know. We both came and uh, you know, use it before before it was Isu. Uh -huh. If you come to Uruagu, so many are not uh, Uruagu like Isu. Uh, Isu a uh, Dodge, they are not Isu. Then uh, Benato. The Benato is not uh, Uruagu. But that's the user, that's common now is uh, they adopted the uh, one common name. But if you come to Uruagu, there are people that are men who are which their culture is different from our culture. Did Newi leadership absorb Uruago? Because Uruago was not one of them yes. originally. Yes. So did Newi leadership absorb Uruago, or rather adopt, let's use adopt, Uruago, or was there some kind of mutual agreement that, okay, we want to join you, but on certain terms and conditions? Was there anything like that? No. If you have the, you no. Have the it's, it's, a, it's Isu that adopted Uruagu. 
Isu, the name we did not adopt it. Well. It is Isu that adopted it. And Isu I mean, the name. The, the, when the, 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 the name we now is four major towns. Yes. Four major towns. Yes. That's why in Lewi is one town local government. Yes. Four towns making this in Lewi. Yes. Now, we, from what you have explained, Uruagu was not one of the three. It would have been the three and it would have been sufficient. Yes. When this uh, Uruagu came from Oba, they were, uh, as an issue, I adopted them and used them as chief security. He was the chief commander of the army of Ezanisu. So Newi was uh, not happy about that. Newi was telling him that how can you use a stranger and make him the commander of the army. Then he quickly gave the first daughter to to uh, to, Uruago. to, Uruago. to legitimize uh, the relationship. Yes. And that is uh, Ezafog. That is the, the man they call Ezafog. This is the, the father of Uruago. Yeah. So when he came, he gave her the, the first daughter of uh, Ezanis, he married, the nine become in law. He now gave him a place to stay. So now you cannot call him a stranger, a stranger any longer. And that is the one he made charge over his uh, palace as the chief commander of the army. And so when, uh, when in, time, uh, in, in times of this, these people were multiplying, it, um, and he was bringing his uh, relations to settle in Neu because he found that the Neu is secure. That is the, uh, the Abuja land is secure. So the people started uh, multiplying. So when Ezra and uh, Isu, letter, letter, it become as if it is they are they to become the, the commander of the army of the uh, Ezra and Isu. So when Ezra and Isu died, eh, another Ezra and Isu came up. Until when he came to Ezra and Isu, in Uko, Ezanuku was so proud, so rich, and so pompous. That is the time his brothers started moving out. The uh, immigration of Isu started moving out because of his pompous and uh, the same. Arrogant that. Arrogant that. So his brothers had left him. So what he did, when he went to Newish, uh, to the place of his last son, Mbudidike. Mbudidike was the last son of uh, Ezra Nisu. So when he went there, he developed sickness and died there. When he developed sickness and died there, his children did not come uh, immediately to take that uh, place. Then the Uruago, that is the, the commander of this, and become so popular that he started changing things, including the market. That I'm going to have a market. Is, Called a a Kisu, he changed them as Afo, uh, Afoba. He, he changed them. He changed. He started changing things. So that is how they become so popular and dominated uh, Isu people. He was bringing people from Oba and increasing. So he became the commander. He started changing things of Isu, like changing the market. He he changed that market. He started changing the name. Because most of these who have, uh, so uh, yes, uh, uh, left, yes, and it has total dominion over the the main part of Isu, uh, and that's how they change them. But how was Uruagu uh, integrated into the Newi enclave? Newi, the uh, position yes. of uh, Isu now, the the the, the stay in Isu Palace. Up to that Uruagu Palace is Isu Palace up to today. But they, because they, 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 they stood in the position of Isu in, the, in my Abaja land. So can one say that uh, this, the, this area, territory called Uruagu, can it also or can rightly be called Isu? Yeah, they are supposed to be uh, they're called Isu because they are in-laws of Isu. Okay. Yes. Did they usurp the name or was it granted them? to become the dominant name now in, in this locality. Instead of being called Isu, it's not being called Uruago. Yeah, yes. Did, did Uruago at a point, you sub, take it from uh, the, 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 the headship? Or were they allowed, were they, were they granted to become one? Because if we talk about Nnewi now, 
Nnewu is simply known as four major villages. Yes. So Tolo, Uruago. And at that point, we call Uruago. I think we, from what you explained, it would have been the Tolo issue, kind of. Yes. But now it's Uruago. So now my point is now is how and when and why it is issue that named that uh, uh, for Uruago. Mm. If you understand the yes, word, yes, yes, let me let me go. Okay. It's not that they just put the name Uruago. Uruago has a has a meaning. Eh? It is Isu that name those uh Umafo. That this Uruago. Uruago means Uruago uh Uru Agana Bamada. The betrayer. There is a one more nagging issue. I want you to give us a little background about it. That is, sometimes it appears on record that uh, Uruagu is not happy with some activities surrounding the royal royalty or the royal family of Ndewi. There has been an issue when a, a particular word was thrown up, and the uh, Uruago latched on it. That is a way You are aware of it, sir. Yes. And the Uruago kicked against it. Yes, but I think. What, it's, what is it about, sir? If I may ask. Okay, it's um. No, uh, is it a way we look at? A term called a way we look at in Nairobi. Uh, Uruago did not understand uh, how it happened. And now it happened that uh, Debo, who was crowned chief, um, they said by Ezanisu, eh, was meant to rule uh, Otolo. Eh? They take title as Obi of Otolo, also take title as Igwe Newi. So when they take as Otoro, they also take as Igwenewi. That is the meaning of a well well. So it has two 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 slots. Two slots. As Otolo and uh, as Newi. Newi. That is the two things. So Uruagu did not understand it in that way before, until this book is published. So that is why they say a well well. He will take as Otoro and also take as uh, Newi. So we will now take the portion of uh, uh, Obi of Otoro yeah. and also take the portion so of, of Igwe because the two decision was surrendered to him. Okay. So what did Uruago finally achieve? They didn't achieve anything. When, this, when the, our story came out, they now saw why the, uh, the Igwe is taking, uh, Otoro is taking two portions. So today, That's is, it, is, it, is it legitimized, is it now legal that you should take two slots. Yes, yes. Nobody is contending. Nobody is contending any longer. So we can say, rightly say that uh, Igwe Kenneth Ori is the third. Is the Igwe of Nehu. Yes. And and the Igwe of, of Toro. Toro. Yes. He has two. That's two portions of uh, the title. And that's why he took uh, two portions of things before any other person. And he's still taking it to. to yes. Him. Okay. And that means that. The royalty uh, of Newi is not in any way contention. Yes. It is settled that um, whenever nature calls yes. for Igwe Kenetori to join his ancestors, yes. that uh, Obi Nechendo uh, of Newi will become the next Igwe and nobody will challenge that. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your input, sir. Okay. We'll go through the book, and uh, having said, after going through the book, we will now reconcile some other facts that are in print with the ones that we have gotten orally. So we thank um, Chief Oji yes. and um, Chief Ejiofo, who have contributed this morning to make, to bring the, to for the information or the, the truth about Newi's origin, like Igbo people will say, it is always good that one should know his roots, so that Mbosyo Sotwalonya, Omaro, Eboya, Abadje, 
having obtained the vital information we need. Thank you all.